Okay, welcome, welcome. Time for a video. So, um, the topic that we had uh, last week, public transport, advantages and disadvantages. Okay, now, um, you may have seen on my videos before, there's two or three different types of advantages and disadvantages kind of question. It may simply, as it does here, ask what are the advantages and disadvantages of such a move. It may also say do the advantages outweigh the disadvantages, or it may say discuss the advantages and disadvantages and give your opinion, etc. So what, uh, whatever the, the question asks, however it is phrased or worded, that's what you have to do. So what we're going to take a look at here, this is, is simply asking, tell me what's the advantages, what's the disadvantages? And that's it. Obviously, you will be expressing your opinion because you are the author, but not overtly so. Okay. So, um, as always, we'll take a look at my introduction first and then uh, we'll take a look at, um, at yours. So, in terms of paraphrasing, what did I do? Well, public transport should be made free of charge. So... Transportation used by the gen well, all transportation used by the public. Essentially, that's public transport. Okay. Uh, free of charge. Without charge. Pretty straightforward. Should be, should be, you can maybe change should into alt. It doesn't matter. Some people believe that. Okay, so that would do fine there. So what we have to do now, uh, advantages or advantage, paragraph two, the disadvantages, disadvantage, and paragraph number three. Now, you can write two or one. It doesn't matter. If you want to say the main advantages or the disadvantages are and mention two, that's uh, fine. Okay, so... The advantage or the main advantage, if I wanted to, you know, make it clearer, okay. Congestion free city centers. So I'm answering question one here. Okay. Advantage or the main advantage or one of the advantages would be congestion free city centers. Because if you take cars, you know, if public transport is, so this is how I would be writing this essay. So I would be saying, okay, the advantages of free public transport would be that it would encourage people to leave their cars at home. Everything is like free, bus, train, metro. One advantage would be that people may well leave their cars, which would in turn lead to congestion-free centers in the cities or towns, etc. Okay, pretty straightforward. The disadvantage, or one of the disadvantages, may well be that you have to pay more in taxation. Now, how I would develop this idea, we would have to see, because I haven't written the essay. But um, that's what I would say, because, you know, you have to pay the, the drivers, the bus drivers, the tram drivers, you need to pay for the fuel, diesel, or petrol, etc. So if they're not getting any income, it's got to come from somewhere, probably general taxation. So that's what I would do for that introduction. Now let's see what you have do done done. <sighs> Transportation for people is better off without payment. Uh, okay, that's kind of, but it's not exactly the same as uh, public transport should be free of of charge because it's you know transportation for people well that could be private it doesn't actually say here public so you've got to be careful here make sure that you you know don't miss any vital words out which may change the uh, meaning here transportation okay but that's transportation in general now see here I said transportation used by the public as in public transport should be free but that's not quite what this says. So you've got to be careful here. There are benefits as well as drawbacks for this action. Okay, which might well be 
Mm, okay, what? I do see this as an act of kindness from authorities towards society and also a cleaner and okay okay so it's kind of a convoluted way of saying what the advantage might be so the advantage here apparently would be a cleaner environment however some problems which will be discussed as following that doesn't answer the question doesn't tell me anything oh there's some problems which i might talk about later that's not it. You need to be clear, direct, as in my introduction. Advantages, disadvantages, benefits, drawbacks, pros and cons, whatever, but you need to make it clear. Okie doke. So, nowadays, public transport contributes, third person, that's an indispensable part. How can you contribute? It can play in, in right, plays. Doesn't con. You can say it makes a major contribution, but it cannot contribute. It can play an indispensable in part in terms of collocation. Okay, that's very good. But again, what's that got to do with the topic? Nothing. Now, you've got to be careful. You don't need these so-called hook sentences or the generalizations. You don't. You need to simply get to the point. So you can use these, but it's just adding a... A sentence which doesn't really add anything to the essay. Okay. It is believed that this system should be provided freely for people. Okay. In my opinion, freely utilized. Well, freely utilized doesn't mean free of charge. It means that it's widely utilized. So it's not quite the same meaning as you think. Uh, if public transportation. is free it leads to or it will lead to because it's not happened yet decreasing traffic congestion and pollution okay good so that's the advantage or some of the advantages well we will possibly see more crowded trains and buses so that's uh, the disadvantage i suppose okay that's not too bad it is believed that public transportation systems ought to be free. Okay. One of the most distinct advantages is having a clean environment. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's pretty clear. Okay. Uh, freely. It doesn't mean the same thing. It means, right, running it freely, using freely as an adverb, does not mean free of charge as an adjective. It's not the same thing. It's like uh, running uh, freely is like a lion running across the plains or something, you know, not the same, okay? Uh, requires a great deal of money that the government should provide. Well, is, how, is that a dis how is that, strictly speaking, a disadvantage? It doesn't strictly tell me how that is a disadvantage. I mean... Does that mean that your taxes will have to rise to pay for this? It doesn't really tell me. So, okay. It's argued that public transportation ought to be used at no cost. Well, should be free. At no cost. It's, we don't really use that as a collocation, but... Okay. Benefits such... How is it going to be a decrease in fuel consumption? Do you mean in private fuel consumption? You mean like in cars? Because buses, trams, metros do use some kind of fuel. So won't that be an increase? If more people use public transport, won't that be an increase in fuel consumption? So are you talking about private cars? If so, you have to say so. You have to make it, it clear. One of the main drawbacks is an extra financial burden on public expenditure. How exactly? Do you mean that your personal taxes will rise? So you need to be a little clearer about that. So that's not too bad. But you need to, to specify, you need to spell out what you mean exactly. It is believed that the transportation system must be free for the public. Okay. If it happened, it would have several effects on our society. That the major problem, uh, several problems next on our 
um, society that the major problems are are costing society uh, such as what an increase in costy I don't really know what this means to be frank are you trying to say so the major problems are are costing but if it is free who's it costing and non-essential trips by people suffer the government while it cost would help poor people um i don't want to be overly harsh but i've no idea what this what this means i've no idea what you're trying to say i'm sorry i don't want to be too you know harsh but i have no idea what what that is talking about okay public transport has become an essential service in metro what you mean metropolitan policies uh, i'm not quite sure what that uh, means but besides we don't need it in any case so it is suggested to provide citizens with a system without any charge okay this is kind of a convoluted way of saying public transport should be free of charge would result in not only reduction in traffic conditions, less pollution. Okay, so we've got a clear advantage. However, increasing the city costs, why do we have a definite article? Could be introduced its downside? Well, sorry, you need to work on word order there uh, and word choice because I'm not really... I get the general idea, but that's not grammatically sound. So increasing the city costs could be introduced as its downside or could be its downside or could be a disadvantage. And city costs, what does that mean? City costs, what, to the individual, to the city, by taxation? I'm not really sure what that is talking about. Okay, nowadays, right, right. Now, we don't need these generalizations. It's a common phenomenon nowadays, blah, blah, blah. What does that add to the essay? Absolutely nothing. Some claim this public service, right, right, so, should be provided freely. Well, again, that's not strictly the same thing. Freely just means widely available. It doesn't mean free of charge. So be careful here, because that's not what it means. So, for citizens. This essay will argue the main advantage of free of charge is a prime solution to a lot of modern problems such as pollution, traffic, congestion. Okay. A disadvantage which would be an initial lack of revenue from ticket prices. That's yeah. Okay. That's not bad. So we've got a clear advantage. Pollution, traffic, congestion. Disadvantage, lack of revenue from tickets. Very good. Okay, currently public transportation is playing an indispensable role in our daily life. Well, okay, but again, okay, hence there is an argue, argument to provide it, to providing it for free for everyone. Okay, for sure we can have a several minutes for citizens, which may contribute to reducing traffic jam and pollution. Anyhow, anyhow, that's not very academic. However, it can cause some negative effects on transportation equipment due to a non... Oh dear, that's a long sentence. Anyhow, it can cause some negative effects on transportation equipment due to the non-profitability of its costly system for government and consequently put an extra burden on the government expenses therefore this action might intensely diminish the transportation quality don't need uh, don't need that so okay i get the idea but this is a little bit long and complicated a bit convoluted sentence if you broke that down and made it simpler and shorter it would be better i think okay so not too bad not too bad you just have to be careful freely free i'm not the same okay so don't uh, confuse those try and be as clear as possible and you don't really need these very broad you know nowadays it's a key role okay we don't you know you can use it but it's not really required just get to the point and you'll be fine okay
So I'll post a fresh topic and uh, catch you next time. Okay.